So ladies and gentlemen, after discussing D1 and D9, we are here with D10. So Atma Tata's placement in the D10, but before I enter this territory, there's a big confusion that's there in the comment sections. Atma Karka of which chart? Well, there is only one Atma Karka and that is your Atma Karak. So just see the planet with the highest degree. So some of you are confused. Is it in the, the Atma Karka of D1, D9, D10? No, it's the one Atma Karka only planet with the highest degree. Or you could say they are Atma Karka in your D1. All right. So that same Atma Karak you see in your D10 chart, you don't have to see the degrees of planets in D10 and find the Atmakara from the D10. All right. So the D1's Atmakara or the only Atmakara in the D10 chart. All right. So what is the Dashamsha chart? The D10 chart is the chart of your career profession. It shows your name, fame, power, position, authority, status, influence, wealth, recognition, all the fancy things that everybody wants to hear in 2024. So that's exactly what we are going to discuss. But also remember that you need to see the D1 because the D1 shows the external manifestations. Okay, the Lagna chart and the Bhava Chalit chart. So therefore, don't ignore the Dashas and the D1 and the Bhava Chalit chart. Also, you can look at the D9. I have also made the video for D9. But today we will exclusively discuss on the D10. And if you are new and you have not yet subscribed, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and personalize consultations through my website down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So, suppose the Atma Karaka is in the first house of your D10 chart. What does this mean? This means you will become an entrepreneur, right? Well, maybe not. <laughs> See, the first house is the house of individuality. So the Atma Karaka shows things which you want to do at a soul level. So it shows when the Atma Karaka is in your first house of the Dashamsha chart, you need independent authority in your work. So that could be within your team or you could uh, do it as a manager or within your domain or it could be you do it as an entrepreneur or a businessman or self-employed, whatever. So you need independent authority and you need the freedom to exercise your ideas and your ideals and your thoughts and if that is not granted to you you may be very frustrated and you may not like the task okay so uh, i won't say atma karaka in d10 first house uh, are bad team players i won't say that but yeah there could be significant challenges because you want to exert your authority considerably okay so either you will do very good as an individual contributor who is working in isolation or you will good, do good as a a team leader whose job is to instruct others okay so these are things which you can use in your profession so next time if you want a promotion then maybe you can you know discuss with your manager that no i need independent charge and i can take end-to-end -end responsibility in corporate language end-to-end <laughs> -end product delivery i think that sounds better okay now if the atma karak is in the second house of your d10 Ah, this is very, very, very interesting position because this shows your focus will be on holding and hoarding. So the second house shows things which you hold, holding, hoarding. In cryptocurrency, there is a new word, HODL. <laughs> right, so, so therefore your job will be to accumulate, you know, wealth, assets, resources and uh, to plan basically. So now, does it mean you have to go into finance sector? Well, that's the thing. It has nothing to do with the industry. Okay. So if you are into IT, uh, then your job will be to plan for resources, allocation. So, so for example, in um, cloud computing, you can be in the back end, you know, in the infrastructure where you are deciding how much you need to allocate uh, to who, which team, how many clusters, for example, I'm saying, okay. And if you are a doctor, it's the same. You could be allocating resources. Now, this can also give you leadership positions because if you have control over resources, you have to be in a leadership role, right? So, in a sense, this is a great position. And you have a lot of experience in dealing with resources. You know whom to employ where, okay? So, this is best for a team leader. I mean, this is incredible because you can very quickly spot talents and you can know where to uh, where you should put which person okay so this is this is an incredible position so therefore if you have this placement and you want to get a promotion then maybe uh, you should think in this domain all right now 
if the atma karaka is in your third house of your dashamsha chart then your job can have things related to marketing advertisement sales and all this okay consulting coaching could be a part of your portfolio but again it does not mean you have to become a consultant you it does not mean you have to go to mckinsey bcg or any 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 such similar consulting firm no it has nothing to do with consulting firms or companies but it could be something very simple like for example you are a cashier you no know, you are writing slips you know it could be something very simple so your job will be to be like a mediator so imagine you are a government employee so your job is to become a mediator between you know uh maybe some client and the senior members in the government okay so you can do excellent in areas of bureaucracy where you have to like pass on things okay so you are like a via medium things happen through you and if your chart is very strong this can make you into a very big king maker because you can do big negotiations okay so therefore if you have a powerful chart maybe uh you can go into politics this is possible like currently the jdu and the tdp they are like you know uh, they became the king makers for the bjp and they formed the nda right so therefore uh, i mean government with the nda alliance i mean so therefore you could be somebody like them okay for example now uh, no political discussions or discords here all haters will be blocked and deleted from comments all right so don't entertain this now now you have your atma karak in the fourth house of your dashamsha chart so what does this mean this means your your work should be uh, to bring stability and focus and to work for security so now does this does this mean you have to go and become a police officer or you know you have to go into network security cyber security well absolutely not you could go into these territories this could be wonderful but this means if you are in it and you are working as a manager then you will have some responsibility where you will have to ensure the security of you know people working so you could do very good as a hr like uh, trying to see who who is happy in the company who is not happy in the company and if your horoscope is very strong you will be like you know the lead hr manager or the you know vice president or somebody so you see i am telling you different positions but it will depend on your chart uh, that will decide what will be the level of success okay so because uh, the lagnesh and atmakarka functions a bit differently if your lagnesh is in the 10th in the 4th house of your d10 uh, then it can mean that you are going into real estate so it's literally the work of the 4th house you know vehicles real estate and all this. but if atmakarka is there it will not show that it will show the inner workings okay so it will show you will be working in an area where your job will be to make people feel secure and if you have this placement and you are a manager and people don't feel safe around you then your job is done okay you won't be there for very long so try to make people feel secure around you and you will do very good okay in general but specifically in your profession now fifth house atma karak in fifth house of your d10 chart so this is a placement which shows you know you will be involved with some something new and some creative pursuits now again it does not mean you have to be a singer dancer or you know a cook or a musician or somebody like that no absolutely not but it means you will have to create something new so some new innovation has to be done so if your atma karak is in the fifth house of d10 old systems may not work so your job may be to revolutionize the sector okay like 5 years 4 years 3 years 7 years back you you would have seen you know if you are in it you would have seen like many companies you know uh, legacy they would follow legacy database systems but then they went to google cloud or amazon aws or you know microsoft as azure and then there were a lot of disruptions okay so therefore you are an innovator so you could do very good in areas of research you know r and d or yeah anything to do with inventions okay innovative things and latest technologies and uh, ai and all this so this is a great placement for 2024 and the future because you have a you have a very good tendency to adopt to new technologies and learn trending things okay this is a bit similar to the behavior of the third house but in case of atma karaka and d10 they function very differently all right 
So this is a great placement. Congratulations. If you have this, you are the first person who I'm giving congratulations. All right. Now, if you have your Atma Karak in the sixth house of your <clears throat> the Shamsha chart, then your work will involve uh, taking care of other people. It will involve, you know, healthcare, law, conflicts, competition and all this. Okay. So, Again, this does not mean you have to become a lawyer or, you know, you have to become a doctor. No, absolutely not. But you could go into the compliance industry. You could go into, you know, like, um, yeah, any any form of work where you need to make sure that the law is followed. Okay, again, you don't have to become a policeman or an army man or a politician. But if if your chart is very strong, then this can give you a lot of leadership positions because then... This Atma Karaka in 6th will help you to make sure people at large are following the law. And who does that? Big government officials, IS officers, IPS officers, and of course, politicians. So this is a great placement. So in short, this is a placement where your job will be to make people follow the law, the rule. And your job will be to punish somebody who does not follow the rule. Okay, so you can be excellent as an auditor. Your job might be to see who is doing uh yeah who is not following the law all right <laughs> and to punish the person through fines and whatever okay so therefore this is a great placement to have also if you want to go into politics or uh, upsc services all right now atma karak has gone to the seventh house of your dashamsha chart another brilliant position and this is a position where you will be involved in making deals, contracts, negotiations. This is a bit similar to the third house, but the third house shows you are more like a via medium. But this seventh house shows you are a part of the deal. Okay. So if your Atma Gara is in the seventh house of D10, then please go to Udemy Coursera and learn team making, the team teamwork. Okay. You may not be doing excellent as a team leader but you will do excellent as a team member okay you can do excellent negotiations you can do collaborations you can do licensing you can you can set the deal basically you can go into advertising and all this okay but this is a better placement compared to the third house because here you are literally a member of the business okay in third house you can be like a medium but here you you are you are yourself but the the good thing is here you are getting more because you are a part of the business okay so therefore try to meet other people and enhance your knowledge your your skills and you will learn a lot and you will do excellent all right now if your atmakara is in the eighth house of your dashamsha chart this can this can put you into things like you know research investigation psychology no metaphysics it could be astrology it could be anything transformation change okay uh, so this is a placement now again as i said for every house you don't have to become an astrologer you don't have to do phd you don't have to uh, do like you know uh, uh, some postdoc or some ma even masters but what you certainly have to do is you have to go deep down into your work your work will be very complicated with this placement and complicated work is good for you because the Atma Karak is in the 8th house it means your work has been complicated in the previous lifetimes <clears throat> and in your case you may find that the work that you are doing uh, in that the most knowledgeable person is only you <laughs> so what happens when you do masters or a master thesis or PhD because I have done masters myself in Germany so what happens is you you take up a problem and you are the most knowledgeable person almost <laughs> and you try to solve it right nobody knows about that more than you not even your guide okay so this is a situation where you have to go and find the solution so if you have this placement sorry to say but you may not get help from others not because they don't want to help you or because they don't know how to help you. So you have to figure out your own journey. It's the dark journey which you have. And you have to figure it out yourself. And if you have this placement. Your career 
may be a bit more demanding than other carriers. Okay, now this could be good or this could be bad depending on your you know, inclination. If you like work-life balance, this is unfortunately not a good placement. But if you like to, you know, work hard and, you know, like you like to work 10 hours, 12 hours, then this is a fantastic placement. You will be known for something very special, okay? But you have to put in hard work. There's no work. There's no substitute for that, okay? Now, if the Atmakarak is in the ninth house of your Dasamsha chart, what does this mean? This means, whatever you are doing in your profession, I don't care what it is, you should be the most knowledgeable person. It's exactly opposite of the eighth house. <laughs> for the eighth house, I said, you will not get help from others, but now for ninth house, you will have to give help to others because you are enlightened. <laughs> not spiritually necessarily you could be but this is a position which shows you are like a coach or a mentor okay people are looking to you for inspiration and if you set a bad example they will be disheartened okay so if you have this placement then you should be the most well read well knowledgeable person in your profession I don't care what it is you are an IS officer Read every day, read two hours, you are um, you are into IT, read two hours every day, read, write, you know, gain knowledge, watch videos, watch podcasts, gain knowledge, gain information, become the subject matter expert in your field. And if you do this, your journey will be phenomenal. You can be like, you know, some chief economic advisor to prime minister or somebody like that, you know, because your advice will be valued. And you will naturally see if you have this in uh, career, people come and take advice from you. I've always seen this happen, right? Now, if your Atmakara is in the 10th house of your Dasamsha chart, 10 10, <laughs> then this is an incredibly difficult placement. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Oh, wow, maybe, you know, he has not spoken about the 10th house. It's the best house, you know. 10th <clears throat> house of your Dashamsha, right? You know, incredible. Well, yes, indeed. It is a very powerful house and that is where the problem comes. Why? Because if the Atma Garka is in the 10th house of your Dashamsha chart, you will be extremely concerned about your reputation at work. Extremely concerned. You may you 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 may be a die hardcore believer of this philosophy like you know fake it till you make it <laughs> okay so therefore if you have this placement then you need to understand that you will have to work very hard in your profession to maintain your status now this will depend on your chart if you will be able to maintain it or not but your work will be two sided or other, I would say there, there will be two layers to your work. So for you, just doing the work will not be sufficient. You have to market it. You have to present. You have to learn to communicate. Okay. You have to learn to prove to others that you are the expert. You are knowledgeable. You are the leader. You have to, you have to, you have to show others that you know. <laughs> you don't have to do show off, but you still have to show them because otherwise you may be very obsessed with your, you know, status and, you know, what people are thinking about you and that can create a lot of mess inside your head, okay? So, therefore, work properly, market your uh, work properly. If you get a chance to present in your company or uh, you get a chance to take the limelight, don't uh, shy away from it, all right? This is a difficult placement, but it's a great one if you use it properly, all right? Now, if the Atma Karka is in the 11th house of your Dashamsha chart, then it shows you don't like to think small in life. You like to think big. You you, you are not a person who says, I'll be a Lakpati. You will say, I'll be a Karolpati. Okay, you, you don't want to be like, you know, 100,000, 200,000 net worth. You want to be like, you know, 10 million, 100 million. Okay, so your advantage your strength is you like to think long term and that's a brilliant thing okay that's phenomenal at the same time you may think so much long term that you may be disheartened if you don't see success so atma karaka in the 11th 
of the dasham chart you have to have patience because if the horoscope is not supportive uh, supportive of your success you can get into depression now you may be thinking what the hell is he talking 11000 depression yeah unfortunately because you may be overly ambitious okay now again as i said it's not wrong to be overly ambitious but you have to work hard so in the dashamsha the 10th and the 11th are very difficult houses okay so i have set it for the 10th also not the best placement unless you are ready to work like you know 10 12 hours a day and you have an image to maintain okay so for the 11th work on your desires have patience and don't be disheartened if you get a bad dasha okay last but not the least if your atmakarak is in the 12th house of your dashamsha chart what does this mean you work in foreign lands <laughs> not as simple so you have to understand what 12th house is 12th house is the house of expenditure so you might have to do some expenditure first to get money and wealth okay so this could be a phenomenal placement for business where you 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 get money you take loan or you take money from your family or you work for 10 years and then with a save money you spend it you make a product and you sell but the problem with this is if the overall chart is not strong so you will lose money okay and if the overall chart is strong you will make a crazy hell lot of money so this placement is a very critical placement it's like a double edged sword okay it's like it could go either ways if the chart is strong this is one of the best placements and if the chart is not strong uh, this can be one of or rather the worst placement okay so therefore if you have this placement please check the d1 uh, bhavchalit navams dashams overall these four charts you must check it all right otherwise your predictions will it will not work all right so therefore don't create a bad name for yourself and look at all the four charts if you are an astrologer and you are giving this consultation to somebody else all right so thank you so much everybody jai siyaram